Welcome back to some more Dishonored, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that looks pretty. Man, that looks pretty. All right. So last time we spent a lot of time getting our last few bits together. I guess we have our powers and whatnots now. Um, a lot of reading, a lot of backstory, a lot of people to uh, keep an eye out for, for sure. But for now, let's go have a chat with Admiral Havelock. Find out what the deal is with all of this. How do I put my weapons away? Is there an easy way of doing that? Nope. Okay, now. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another okay. Thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Fair enough. Sounds like a good little submission. Something just cropped up. Um, do, do, do. Travel with Sam with the boatman to your first mission. Locate Emily. Yep, yep, yep. There was another note. I didn't see what it was talking about, unfortunately. Uh, got the bone charms, got the yada yada yadas. What else did we pick up? Raven, fencer, blah blah blah. Firewater, nothing. Oh, we can do two more bone charms. Holy moly. Drop assassinations give you health. Swim speed increased. Breathing underwater, yep, got all of that. Gutter feast is eating stuff. I think fencer will probably come in useful. And... Slight reduction in damage from blasts. Sounds good to me, I guess. I don't really know just yet. All right, looking good, anyhow. Looking good. Anything around here that we need to worry about the heart with? Nope. All right, let's get the blink back up. Nothing more for us to have in this building, I don't think. The heart's not pounding. Should we have it out? Now, what does this... Let's have a look at this thing. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like this. Is that the maid? Who are you? It's just some random. Cecilia. Good day, Master Corvo. Hello. Huh. All right. This is cool. I like this thing. That's pretty awesome. It doesn't use any powers or anything either. Very, very useful. What's out here? It's just another route round into the streets. All right, let's not go wandering out there just yet in case, you know, there's people else for us. I don't think there's anything else we can do around here for the time being. Oh. No. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Um, oh, gold. Optional, spare Captain Kerno. Mission clues updated. Ah, right. Where's the mission clues? There we go. Chris has made... Uh, has an uncle who is the captain of the Dunwill Watch. Yep, Captain Kerno is a decent man trying to make the best of the corrupt regime. Yada, yada, yada. Piero is an inventor. Sam with a boatman. So, uh, we didn't seem to have anything else of import 
So, travel with Samuel the Boatman to your first mission. This is going to be a shambles. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Hey, Samuels. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the overseer's <coughs> nest. I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. I, uh... I have seen Piero. I haven't got much money left. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Let's go. Ooh. Very cool. Search for alternate ways to eliminate key assassination targets. Alright, High Overseer Campbell. Uh, High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is in close ally with Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secrets to Emily's location. Infiltrate the offices of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal and eliminate him. An ally to the loyalists, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Many things to do. Many things to do. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The city Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. Man walks through one of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Alright, mission clues. Uh, the City's Watch holds Clavering Boulevard beyond the First wall of light. The Bottle Street gang controls the side streets around Clavering Boulevard. Granny La Rags lives in an apartment at the far end of Endoria Street. Okay. So there's our different routes through. Get past the first wall of light is our first mission. Alright, well, we'll nobble the food. Nice bit of rat food, no worries. Talk to Granny Rags in her apartment. Yeah, that does sound fun, actually. That's the wall of light. How do I. Oh, blimey. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Dumping bodies into the river. Well, into a boat, even. That's that's nice. That's real nice. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But that's easy, the damn it. Keep them in the boat. The canal's we'll got enough shit in it as it is. Good. <coughs> Keep them coming. Hey! What is it? Um, I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. <laughs> Not possible. Mm. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Nice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you, you, you watchmen, you guards are pretty horrendous. Uh, where's my eyeballs? Alright, it doesn't seem we can't see anybody else. Looks like the guard has definitely run off for the time being. The city's dead. Make it three months. This thing is going to be useful. We have a rune over there. Ooh, a bone charm. Another rune. And another bone charm. Okay, interesting. Where's this whistling coming from? Nothing round, all right. So I'd like to meet the granny. That would be cool. It's very interesting. We don't have any kind of. Uh... We don't have any uh, any maps or anything to go by, which is pretty awesome. So it's just going to be watching. Oops, the environment. Uh, let's back away, back away, Corvo. Don't want to get spotted just yet, my friend. Damn it. That was a bugger. Oh, gods, we're just going to end up killing everybody, aren't we? Or getting killed by everybody, in turn. Come on, buddy. Come on. No. No, 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 no. That was terrible. 
<laughs> I don't know if uh, Sneaky Sneaky is going to be our way around all of this, to be honest. We just killed a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Ho-hum. Never mind. Um, quick bit of health, that'll be good. I'm going to have to cough. <coughs> Alright, corpses, corpses everywhere. Don't really want to leave them here, but I don't suppose much we can do about using rats on them, unfortunately. Or the rats will uh, get them in time. And you've got two bolts left. That is unfortunate. There's a little kid here somewhere. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that was all the guards we had to worry about. Hello, survivor. Who are you? Please. I'm a bit shaken right now. I saw some terrible things today. All right, fair enough. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear the area when a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state business. Be advised that such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. <laughs> Nasty little fish. Hmm. Oh, no. no, no, no. I was just going for the brat, you crazy lady. It's all right. It's all right. Let's have a look around here. Corpses. Corpses, corpses everywhere. Where's my eyeballs? Nice. Alright, doesn't seem we have too much of an issue Balance right now. Dice. Why are we not picking that guy up? Is it because we can see him? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Right, there is another dude. Disgusting. Oh, Calm down, love. Fucking longer do I have my fucking... Alright, looks like his patrol route is taking him somewhere else. Now, there was bone charm over here. Some runes, some more bone charms. Getting used to this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Alright, yep, I get it, I get it. There's a bone charm around. Can we... Now, that's a question. That is a question. Can I... Can't port underneath stuff. That's a shame. Maybe we just have to go up then. Yeah, so I know there's a bone charm in now. I just don't know how to get to it. That's a question. Well, look, can we... Can't go quite high enough. There's no climbing up there. Okay, we have something. Ah. Maybe we can get across somehow. Honestly, learning these powers is going to be real interesting. Oh, wow, that's cool. Alright. We're on the roof. Ha ha! That's pretty splendid. Now, I don't want to drop down. I like that. I see. That is cool. Bone charm, pouches, bottles, a corpse. Darren loves Guren. 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 Some rat meat. That's cool. We're going to have to remember there's probably some good food stuffs around. Oh man. Death in the month of songs. Excerpt from a longer work translated from Old Scaronian by Anzing Matteo Secronus. Now, there's not much here. She was shy in the month of hearts, hiding from my scented letters, a sun-dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating fits, uh, nope, eating figs, straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to her sailor cousin from Calero, a shrill bird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of songs, struck by disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. Very cool. Okay. Now, is there... See, we just don't have the range, really, to do this easily. What else do we have? Any kind of climbing ability here? How did we get across last time? Is there not a door that we can... A switch or anything that we can use to open this door? Nope. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oops. Hoik. Up into the shrubbery. Uh, 
Yes, lovely. That's cool. Awesome. All right. All right, not too shabby. So, where else was there things to get? We've got the runes, bone charms, and there's a rune over there to the right. I think I like the sound of that. That should be all right. Let's get the old blinky up. All right, mate, he's wandering off. That's cool. Ooh, stealth games. Stealth games. <laughs> what? There's nothing for you to see. Where did you go? Where did he go? All right, okay. Well, I wouldn't mind that bone charm. Attention, gun oh, damn, I'm going to have to get used to that noise. This is a special announcement That's not cool. Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Okay, fair enough. Look out to orders. Hmm. Plant your ass on the roof and watch the street. See who comes to the Alms House. And uh, see if that old lady knows anything. She's blind, but maybe she's heard something from Slackjaw. We know Slackjaw. Sounds like old Granny Wasser faces around here somewhere. Jeez, we're right on the edge of the roof. <laughs> Can we get over? Maybe just go a little bit higher. I don't know where this. I keep wanting to call her Granny Weatherwax, which is brilliant. <laughs> I have no idea where she is. I did just hear her though. I don't hear her now. I like this being able to run around everywhere kind of thing. This is pretty sweet. Where are you, Granny? Are you going to be in there somewhere, do you reckon? What is this? The room's 24 metres down below. All right. I'm guessing I want to stay away from the rats. They didn't look too friendly for the time being. Oops. I told you knives go on the left and what now? <laughs> Room charm or bone nearby. I yep. Are Where are you, crazy granny? Are you crazy granny? Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Ooh. All of it. Hello, granny rags. Dear. Is that you, my dear husband? Not uh, so much. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Okay, well, blimey, she's creepy. Creepy old Granny Rags. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Uh, who are these guys? Let us in, Granny. They don't look like the nice types. Shall we? Let's have a quick peek through the keyhole. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. Oh no, you're not. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? 
Alright, lads. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Uh huh. Alright. Let's get this Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the heck happened there? Well, oh, not gonna complain. Finish them off. Something strange occurred. Hmm. I don't like the idea of leaving all these bodies everywhere, but there isn't much we can really do about it. Hey, black rat. I don't think I like the black rats either. Ooh, sleeping darts. Yoink. What are you? Could definitely do with some of that. Uh, a little bit of coin. That's cool. Now, where's this rune? Still a fair trek away. Dagnabbit. Uh, yes. Yes. And some food would be lovely. Granny, have you got any food for us? Corvo's feeling a little bit peckish. I think the little birdies are sad today. All right, Granny. Well, I took care of your gentleman callers. <laughs> She's so creepy. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. Okay. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Jeez. Equip the heart. Is there another one upstairs oh, now? No, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Alright, we're room just out there. Go check out Granny's vanity thing in a minute. Oh, fantastic. There it is. Yoink. One out of seven runes found. Ooh. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once. And rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? That's fairly obvious, my friend. I think we've been sent to kill him. Nothing more around here. Right, let's go check out Granny's vanity thingy I told you the knives go on the left they've always gone on the left you never listen is that no that's the wall of light where's this vanity unit she was talking about oh look at that I hope you like the little gift I got for you. Jesus, you scary it's old lady. the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. <laughs> See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. 
<laughs> Got that. New mission clues. Bloody hell, the Bottle Street Gang has a bootleg elixir still inside the old Dunwall Whiskey Stillery. They're creating their own version of Sokolov's health elixir and selling it. Yes, we knew this. New powers. What do we have? Bend time. Holy moly. Bloodthirsty. Build up adrenaline. Uh, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Um, jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. I like the sound of that. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Or oh, both of those look useful. That's going to cost two runes a piece, though. Hmm. Or bend time. Slow time for a short duration. I'm feeling that shadow kill is probably going to be the way to go, considering how many people we're having to kill. Shadow kill causes the bodies of slain enemies to turn to ashes if they were unaware at the time of their death. Okay. This is useful for stealth since you can time your actions so that one killed enemy fades away before another turns and might see him. Further, you do not have to hide the bodies if you do this enchantment since they turn to ash and fade away. At level 2, this enchantment works even if slain enemies are aware of you. I quite like shadow kill. We'll grab that. Each time you kill an unaware enemy, the body turns to ash. Yes. I feel like that's going to be useful. Very useful. Oh boy, okay. You'll have to go or they won't come. Uh, this is true. Alright, Granny. So where's this distillery? How do we know where any of these things are? That's the question. There's the wall of light. Um, let's get ourselves up yonder. Up we go, Corvo. Can you just thank you? Lovely. It's stuck there. Okay, cool. I wonder where this distillery thing is. Oh no, I missed it. Oh, son of a gun, really? What the crap? Oh. Oh, man. That would be right at the beginning, wouldn't it? Do I have to do all of that again? Have I lost the rune upgrades? Oh no. Okay, saved it here. That's handy. They're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Okay. That's useful. I'm going to have to remember some save tips. Okay, okay. Was there another clue? It just... Oh, we get to upgrade again. All right, I'm still liking the idea of shadow runes. Let's grab that. That's cool. Oh, there was more bone charms as well. Hold on. Uh, do 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 do. Cutterfest Raven, welcoming host. You can possess white rats. Woohoo! Drop assassinations give you a bit of health. Yes, we know all of that. So that's cool. All right. So time to be a bit more careful about our dealings. Here I feel. Corvo, there was a. Yep. That's lovely. Alright, I must remember. Must remember my buttons. <laughs> That's better. That's much better. Okay. What do we have here? So, death drops are very, very likely. Huh. That's saying there. Something street boys. Probably Bottle, Bottle Street Boys, that seems to be their thing. But we would need to get somewhere else first to get this Poisoned Elixir stuff. This is going to be tricksy, tricksy indeed. Alright, well, Granny's creepy as all heck. What do we have? Ah, Dr. Galavani's offices, there they are. Alright, that looks good. Can we clamber up there? Doesn't look like it. Probably drop down and across. Oop. Hello. Let's get back into our creepy mode. I like the idea of Dr. Gavil Galavani's offices, though. What do we have? Hemlock essence. Some meat. Mother's journal. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay. Interesting, interesting little setup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it there for this episode. Uh, hopefully you'll join me next time. We shall see what we can do about everything. Yes, there they are.
No, we've got a couple of drops. I suppose we could kill them. If we take them out unawares, we'll be all good. Right. Anyhow, more stuff to read. Fantastic. Oh, tons and tons of stuff to read. Cool. Well, I'll see you here then. Cheers.